the newsroom. It's always a pleasure having you join me, Amelia Martha Nachtimbo, for your top of the hour news updates here on Urban TV. Now, the UN has challenged Uganda's government to support local human capital for sustainable growth in the economy. The director of operations of Africa Management Services Company, Kofi Anda, says the government should support more women in businesses because their critical thinking is important for business growth. The concerns have been raised this morning at a business meeting held in Kampala and attended by top business experts in the country. As part of the National Early Childhood Development Campaign to encourage proper and all-round upbringing of children from conception to eight years of age, we are bringing you fact files and feature stories in that regard. Now here is our fact file for today. The Minister of Education and Sports has blamed poor early childhood development on low pay for nursery school teachers and low teachers' qualifications. The Ministry notes that a kindergarten teacher should train for two years after attaining at least six passes at all level. However, in most early learning centres, many teachers do not have the required academic papers to show. We also found out that in some districts, some teachers are paid as low as 45,000 shillings a month. UNICEF is to use these findings to invest in early childhood interventions, especially in developing countries like Uganda, to achieve more sustainable growth by empowering children through education. The top official who led the Kenya Olympic team to Rio has been charged with stealing 25.6 million Kenya shillings meant for accommodation of the country's athletic officials. According to local media, the charge alleges that Mr. Stephen Arapsoy stole money from the sports ministry on the 20th of July. He is co-accused with the Secretary General of the National Olympic Committee of Kenya, Francis Paul, and the Rio Olympics team manager, Pius Ochieng. The case follows widely reported incidences of mismanagement and disorganization in the Kenyan team before and during the Rio Games. The case will be heard on the 24th of October. And that story right there concludes our top of the eye news updates. Thank you for joining me, Amelia Martha Nachtimbo. Brenda Kembabazi and Desire Derek Ford Mugumisa will be with you later at 8 p.m. to bring you details to some of these and many other stories from the day. Keep it up on TV.